going on out there? Banners, YouTubers, truckers. This is Jim again. I'm going to talk about a uh, engine slash 16 year old or 20 year old project that I've had in the back burner. And uh, I've been just gathering parts for a long time. Anyways, it's a Miata. And uh, uh, I'm not the only one that's done this, but I, I'm, I'm going to transplant a, uh, a Windsor engine in this Miata that I have acquired. Uh, I, have, I have the car. I have not showed that yet, but I will. I'm going to do the whole build, uh, starting with uh, the drivetrain first and then work my way up because I have a couple little spots body work wise and then just uh, it's basically a, a, a scuff and paint um, new I have to put a new uh, soft top on it convertible things like that it's really 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 cosmetics so we're talking about the uh, transmission and the engine drivetrain for this here project so the car is a 90 so that's the second year um, Mazda Miata and the engine is a 74 uh, 302 Windsor with 351 heads uh, some people say that GT40 uh, it says that I uh, checked them out they're 351 heads that gets better breathing that's a factory engine I pulled the engine out of a, uh, an F100 with 32,000 original miles um, took the engine to an engine shop they said they can't do anything with it because the pistons that I had acquired they <laughs> they measured them oh they're oblong so I got into the argument uh, that I said uh, those are uh, 12 to 1 compression or 11 to 1 compression race pistons if you notice that the ring is 1 16th and I'm going to get into that in depth uh, it's for a bracket racing uh, a build or uh, like um, high revving circle track engine shit uh, so the guy dropped the ball said that the engine was no good your pistons are no good. Your crank is no good. Well, it's all bad. So, hey. So I said, fuck you. I paid him 80 bucks to put baby wash on it and scrubbed it with a friggin' brush. And, and that was what happened when I picked it up. So that's why the damn thing took a back burner. Because I couldn't find any engine shops in New England that, uh, well, we're... And, you know, they were all incompetent. Uh, two went out of business, and uh, I actually had another engine there that the asshole threw in the trash bin. And, uh, you know, if you look at my videos on the uh, Ford truck, i tell you about that. But that was not a lie. That was fact. Well, here we are. Here's another uh, goofy Ford engine. Uh, so, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm building this engine on the cheap. I paid $125 for a 32,000 original mile F100 1974 Windsor engine with 351 heads, all factory. Uh, the cam doesn't, I don't even, uh, I, I don't even know if I'm going to buy a new cam because the thing is looking, it looks so nice. So I bought a, I went to a swap meet. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to try to like uh, not go fancy, but I want to beef it up a little bit. Nothing, uh, not crazy. Just something that I can maybe take it to the track or basically just daily drive it, you know? So we're four minutes into this video and the only thing you got is that I paid $125 for a Windsor engine. Uh, went to a swap meet, found a rotating assembly, a... Uh, aftermarket cast steel crank not a forge it's a cast steel uh, H-beam rods hung on um, full floating TRW high compression pistons 
uh, the two upper rings are 1 16th, so I know that they're race pistons, and the guy that I bought them from, he said that they, uh, they had it in the engine to break it in for 20 minutes, and the engine ignited because they had bad heads or something. So there was nothing wrong with the uh, crank rods and pistons, and there you go. I gave 50 bucks. Yes, that's right. $50 for um, that shit. <laughs> so right now, so now we're talking about, okay, I got a little, low, not even what, 180 bucks into the project so far. So I said, you know what? I think I'm going to try something. I think I'm going to hit all the swap meets I can. And I'm going to see what's out there. Because every time I go to a swap meet, I don't know what I'm looking at, and people don't know what they're selling, but they know that they want a lot of money for the fucking shit, and I don't want to spend a lot, because there's no box, it's not an original box or packaging, um, shit either has rust on it, or, uh, oh, it was laying in a bucket, and there was shit on top of it, I don't know, so I figured, hey, you know what, why don't we build this engine with shit that I see all the time for pennies at a dollar no more than some of the shits no more than a hundred dollars it's absolutely crazy so that's what i'm doing uh i started with getting that uh those three things uh, excuse me four things uh block crank rods and piston and i've been hanging on that uh for the last uh 10 years it's been sitting on the shelf so uh today this is uh what uh, june 6th I've only, it's only been, um, let's see, I ordered, I ordered all the bearings, uh, gasket kits, uh, things like that in the last five days. So that's why I'm doing this video. I'm trying not to go over 10 minutes on this. So I'm going to show you what that shit looks like. And then we're going to stop there and I'm going to do another video on the transmission. And I'm going to talk about that. Then I'm going to go back to the other video, to a, a third one and tell you exactly what's going on so I'm gonna swipe this here camera turn it around and you can see the engine which is uh, gonna be pretty good so here we go